Hey there, Pickle Peeps. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a free gift with purchase discount in Shopify. Now, I am not a Shopify expert, but I'm going through this and I had to look up how to do it and play around with it. So I figured this might help you guys. So let's get going. Um, this is going to be for my 4th of July sale, which haha <laughs> is going a little bit late. Uh, but I wanted to help you out in case you were trying to figure out and if you want to do this, any other kind of sale. So what we're doing today is setting up a thing where if customers spend a certain amount of money, they get a, um, they're going to get a free gift. And actually, let me go back so you guys can see. We're going to discard and I can start again. So we're going to go into create discount, buy X, get Y. That is the one that we're looking for, which I usually look at kind of like as BOGO offers, but we're going to do it here as a um, free gift. So I'm going to select buy X, get Y. And here's uh, something fun. So I thought I needed to get a paid app to do this because I wanted it to be automatically added. I didn't want to have to have my customers like try to find a discount code on top of things and whatnot. So I thought I needed a paid app, but I don't. I can do it right here. So if you want to do this as like they have to manually enter the code to get the free gift, you can select discount code option. Or you can do this one right here, automatic discount. Um, and you can title this, so I'm going to say July for free gift. Cool. And just they'll see that on their cart when they check out. So easy peasy. And then you can do this when a person buys a specific item. Like if you were doing a buy my shirt, get the hat for free, you could do it off of a specific item or quantity of items. I am doing this today off of a purchase amount. So if they spend $100, then they are going to get my Americana ornament for free. There we go. Cool. And you can, I guess, have them choose between different products or different collections or whatnot. I'm going to keep this really simple. You spend 100 bucks, you get this free gift. Cool. Um, and then, let's see, customer gets. So customer spend a hundred dollars. Ooh, I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> they just spend a hundred dollars. It doesn't matter any kind of specifics. Then they're gonna get one Americana ornament. There we go. See, got to read through these things. They spend a hundred dollars. Boom. They're gonna get one. Americana ornament and they're going to get this so you could do this this is where like if you want to do BOGOs buy one get one 50 any of that stuff um you could do percentages you could do amount off of each I'm doing this as a free gift boom and then you could also set a maximum number of uses per order if I have someone who spends $500 with me over the next few days I'm very happy to give them five ornaments <laughs> I'm going to be honest right there <laughs> Um, and then your combinations. I usually put these as good with shipping discounts. If you are setting up discounts in natively in Shopify here for your other products, so like for example, I am doing a 25% off a specific collection and then having the bonus gift on top of that. Um, if I was doing that just straight up in here, then I would probably also put it with order discounts, but I'm not. I'm running that through a different discount system, um, a my, which I can totally review for you guys later on if you want. Um, so I'm just going to add in this combines with shipping discounts and then active dates. I'm going to set an end date here. I guess if you wanted it to be like forever, you could. And there we go. I try my best to end my sales at midnight Pacific time. I think it makes a difference, especially when I have customers all across the country. The bulk of my customers are right here on the East Coast, a lot of them in New York, uh, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, all of that, DC. Um, but I do have quite a few customers who are West Coast and I always feel bad for them if they're going out, if they're partying, if they're having a good time. And it's like, oh, sale ends at midnight and for them it's 9 p.m. And that's just kind of strange. So to me, it doesn't hurt anyone to do them at Pacific time. So I do that instead. So I set my end date. For everybody else, it ends on the 7th at midnight on my East Coasters. But really, so for my Pacificers, it would be the 8th, 3 a.m. would be midnight for them. I'm going to hit save discount. One error. Let's see if that'll do it. Save discount. Browse. Okay, we gotta sit. It can be all anything. Here. I have an all collection that's just everything in my stock, so add. <laughs> Spent $100 in 
any any of my products there. If you don't have an all collection, definitely make one. Customer gets one Americana snowflake. Cool. Save discount. Third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Boom. There we go. And since it's automatic, it will automatically be added to their cart. Um, should There's no coupon code to worry about. So there you go. If you want to add in a free gift for purchase kind of discount, whether it be for 4th of July, for any holiday, even just you're doing your own special Prime Day kind of deal, go for it. This is how you do it. If you found this helpful, go ahead and give this video a like, subscribe for more. We try our best to do daily. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, videos helping small business owners, handmade business owners to get your stuff done faster. Right? Bye. Bye.